Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about dining philosopher problem. So let us start with the dining philosopher problem. So first of all, what actually dining philosopher problem is? In this problem, there are five philosophers that are sitting around a table and they are doing two things: either eating or thinking. But while they are eating, they are not thinking, and while they are thinking, they are not eating. means at a particular time philosophers are either eating or thinking now each philosopher has its own plate means the number of plate equals to number of philosopher so there are five philosophers so number of plate is equal to 5 and there is a fork between each pair of adjacent philosophers that means between each philosopher there is one fork so total number of fork is 5 Now each philosopher require two fork to eat and each philosopher can access the fork that is immediately left as well as immediately right a philosopher cannot access other than this two fork so if we consider this philosopher then this philosopher can access only this fork and this fork this philosopher cannot access these three fork same way this philosopher can access only these two fork this philosopher can access only these two fork this philosopher can access only these two fork now let us see how the dining philosopher problem works now let us execute the solution of dining philosopher problem first instruction is has defined n5 here we are defining the value of n as 5 because the number of philosophers are 5 has defined left i plus n minus 1 modulo 5 and has defined right i plus 1 modulo 5 these two instruction will simply assign the number of i's left neighbor and number of i's right neighbor to left and right variable then after has defined thinking 0 has defined hungry 1 has defined eating 2 in these three instruction we are defining the value of thinking as 0 hungry as 1 and eating as 2 then after type def int semaphore we are declaring a special kind of variable that is semaphore integer state of n we are declaring an array of size n that is 5 to keep the track of every philosopher state then after semaphore mutex equals to 1 we are declaring a variable mutex for achieving mutual exclusion for a critical section then after semaphore s of n we are declaring an array of s having one semaphore per philosopher next void philosopher integer i here the parameter is number of philosopher from 0 to n minus 1 while true think right now the philosopher is thinking now take underscore fork in bracket time now philosopher becomes hungry so philosopher wants to eat food from plate so to eat the food from plate philosopher require two fork but the philosopher can access only the fork that is immediately left and immediately right to him so to access this fork here this function is called take fork now in this void take underscore fork integer of i i is the number of philosopher from 0 to n minus 1 down mutex here the philosopher wants to enter in its critical section so before entering into its critical section the philosopher down the value of mutex so that other philosopher cannot access the critical section at that time now the state of i equals to hungry now here the state of that philosopher is changed to hungry now test of i here the philosopher is trying to acquire two fork so here this function is called that is void test i that is the philosopher number from 0 to n minus 1 now here the condition is checked if state of i double equals to hungry means the state of this philosopher is hungry and state of left not equals to eating and state of right not equals to eating if this condition is true then the state of this philosopher is changed to eating now when this condition becomes true 
first condition that is state of phi is angry state of left is not eating means the left hand side philosopher is not eating that's why the fork is free means between the current philosopher and the left hand side philosopher fork is free and the state of right is not eating means the philosopher that is sitting right hand side of this philosopher is not eating so between the current philosopher and the right hand side philosopher fork is free so this philosopher can access two fork that's why the state of this current philosopher is changed to eating and up and person so phi so here the state of this current philosopher is changed then after up mutex now exit from critical section so the value of mutex that is down previously here is now up so that another philosopher can enter in critical section now down n person so5 now block if the fork were not required if the fork that is required by this philosopher is not available then it is block once the fork is available philosopher has started to eat now once complete the eating this philosopher puts the fork on the table so put underscore fork i so here again the function is called so void put underscore fork in bracket integer of i i is the number of philosopher from 0 to n minus y again to put that fork on the table the philosopher is entered into critical section so before entering into critical section again the value of mutex is down so here down n person mutex state of i is changed from eating to thinking now again here this philosopher is testing for left hand neighbor as well as right hand side neighbor once this condition is checked the value of mutex is up over here so that another philosopher can access the critical section at that time while condition is over and this void philosopher function is over so in this way dining philosopher problem will execute thank you very much